Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I have some cool stuff to tell you. Same here. I'll go first. Do you know the story of Prophet Musa? Yes. He wanted to find out what Allah looked like, so he asked Allah if he could see him. Allah said no and told Musa to look at the mountain ahead. Musa did so and the mountain crumbled before him. This made Musa faint. Allah did not punish Musa for asking to see him, because Allah knew that Musa was only trying to get to know Allah and was not being disrespectful. I want to see Allah. Well, inshallah, if you are good and go to heaven, you will see Allah as he will reveal himself to those in heaven. Allah wants you to know him, so you should try to. I agree, independent learning is very important. You cannot always rely on others although Allah will always be there to help you if you remember him all the time and love him. Allah is so nice and forgiving. And very powerful. No one can create anything even close to what Allah has created. Do you know what the first creation was? Um, I'm not sure. Well, it's something you use a lot. Okay, a human? Oh, I know. Adam. No, a pen. Wow, I didn't know that. I guess the pen is very powerful as words can sometimes mean a lot more. I guess so. A pen might even be more powerful than a sword. And you know when Allah created Adam, the angels questioned it because they thought there would be more trouble. But, Allah's decision is final and there is always a good reason for everything Allah has told us to do. Yes, like we do want who to keep clean. And eat halal food because it is healthier, cleaner and better for the animal. How is it better for the animal? It's better for the animal because the way the animal is sacrificed is in the neck. This way it cuts off the nerves and the animal does not feel any pain. Plus, this makes it cleaner as the blood will come out quicker. You. But I don't want to be eating blood. No quality Allah has created is bad. We can use it in a bad way but that does not make it bad. It is what we do that makes it good or bad. Everything depends on how you use it. Yeah, like stubbornness can be good and bad. It is good if you are really determined and don't want to change your opinion. But it is bad when you are determined not to do something that is good or something like that. Yes and jealousy. It is bad when you want worldly things or you dislike others because of it. But it is good if you compete to do good things and are jealous of the other person for how good they are and you try and beat them. Isn't that what Abu Bakr and Umar used to do? Yes. And forgetfulness and sleep. Yeah. You can forget important things which is bad or you can forget arguments which is good. And you can oversleep and become lazy or you can sleep and rest your body so it is refreshed for the next day. What about lying though? Surely that's a bad quality. There can't be anything good in lying can there? Technically, lying isn't a quality. Allah doesn't make bad qualities. Plus, lying is done by us because we were given free will. Now I am getting a little bit scared of Allah. That's good. You should fear Allah but love him also. Okay, I do love him. I read Quran and five prayers every day. But you should get to know Allah so you can love him even more. Okay, I learned that the rocks fall from the mountains in fear of Allah, and then if water comes out of the rocks, it is also out of fear of Allah. Yeah, that's true. Did you know that if Allah gave the Quran to the mountains they would fall out of fear? No. Wow, I should be terrified of Allah. Well, sort of but try and love him as well. Like my mum. What? I love my mum lots but sometimes I fear her as well because I don't want to disappoint her. Exactly like that. Your love for Allah should be much stronger than the love for your parents. Wow. I have a lot of learning to do. Yes. Read lots of Quran, read your Salah and remember Allah. Hey, I've heard that when you're reading Quran you should force yourself to cry. Is it true? Yeah. Apparently scholars recommend it. Plus, it should make you realize more and understand more. Did you know that Abu Bakr had lumps under his eyes from crying? No, but that's amazing. Next time I read Quran I am going to cry so hard. Yes, and praise Allah. Everything on earth is praising Allah. I know, even when Anas was inside that whale, he could feel vibrations and it was the sea animals praising Allah. Wow. I heard that even the shadows praise Allah. They do. Everything does. And everything on earth is serving you. That is because Allah made us in charge of the earth. And Allah knows us better than we know ourselves. Yes. 
Allah created every living thing from water, and everything has a shape and color on purpose. It was not random. What about Nimrod? I'm not a Nimrod. You're a Nimrod. No, Nimrod was a foolish king and a really small one of Allah's creations killed him. Oh, what was it? A mosquito. Wow. By the way, sorry I called you a Nimrod. That's okay, so what were we talking about? That everything has a shape, color and purpose. Oh yeah, colors have an affect on our minds, you know? Uh oh, leaves are green which is a relaxing color for our minds. That might be why plants are green because they are around a lot, they are relaxing colors. Yes, but leaves are really simple. Not really, they look simple but they have many complicated things about them. Oh well, there are some things that only Allah knows. Lots of things. Yes, but we should still try and learn as much as we can. I agree, let's all try hard to learn about Islam and become good Khalifa of the earth. Let's do it together. Science in the Kingdom of Allah. Big thank you to Amman Power.